There are two good ways to find the average speed. Uh, one is to look at the total distance covered and divide that by the total amount of time that it took. Right? So that's one way to get the average speed. The other way is to calculate it a weighted average where the weights are the amount of time spent at each speed. So it would be a certain speed multiplied by the number of hours spent at that speed plus the next speed multiplied by the amount of time spent at that speed, plus the third speed multiplied by the amount of time spent at that speed, and so on, and then you would just divide by the total amount of time at the end. Now in this case we know that Martha spent two hours at x miles per hour and three hours at y miles per hour, so the total distance covered would be 2x plus 3y. And you divide that by the total amount of time that it took, which is five hours. And you might notice that the two different approaches I mentioned at the beginning of this video really aren't that different after all because the total amount of distance would be the sum of speed times number of hours at that speed plus speed times number of hours at that speed and so on. So really they're the same approach, just two different ways of looking at it. In any event, the average speed for Marta will be 2x plus 3y divided by 5 and since this is data sufficiency, we could just simplify that and ask, well, what's 2x plus 3y? So statement 1 clearly tells us the value of 2x plus 3y, so that's sufficient on its own, and we can go ahead and eliminate BCE. Statement 2 does give us some kind of relationship between x and y, but it doesn't tell us what the sum would be if we took 2x plus 3y. It actually just tells us how far apart x and y are on the number line, without any indication of where they are on the number line. Really all we can say is that y sits 10 units to the right of x on the number line, but the actual values of x or y or the sum of 2x plus 3y are impossible to infer, and therefore the correct answer here is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.